Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. Glad you could join us. Do you ever hear these words or phrases? Not good enough. Unacceptable. Unworthy. Unwanted. If you're a child of God, those are all lies of the devil. Ephesians 1, 3 through 6. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Did you catch that last phrase? By his grace, he made us accepted in the beloved. Jesus came into the world to seek and to save you. And you are made worthy through the blood of Jesus shed on the cross and by your confession of faith in Jesus as Lord and Savior. Listen, Ephesians 2 verse 4, but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us. Verse 6, raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Verse 10, for we are his workmanship. One version says masterpiece created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. First Peter 2, 9, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. In Philippians 1, 6, being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a work, good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Oh, dear Jesus, when I look at the glory of your creation, I am filled with awe and wonder. How I could apply, applaud all of your work in creation, and, and how could I see all of that and fail to recognize your creative work in my own life? We sometimes forget that what you've done for us and how you've changed us, and that you loved us when no one else did. That you leave the 90 and 9 and come after me when I've lost my way, when I'm trapped, when I'm caught in a snare. Help me to remember you have a work to do in me and through me. And that you promised to complete the work that you started in my life. May I boldly embrace each opportunity to reveal your divine design for my life. In the name of the one who loves me like no one else. Jesus Christ. Amen.